right here. Hey guys, it's Patrick from Tomorrow Comes Movies. I'm here with Andy Shankar. So, I want to talk a little bit about your film, uh, Bodied. I hear a lot of great things about. Yeah. Yeah, I heard a lot of things about it. Blowing too. up, man! It's crazy. Can you talk a little bit about what it's about? Because I heard a lot about it, but not much. What have you heard? I heard it has to do with underground rap battles. Yes. And it was. Everyone says it's like one of the best films out, and it took a while for it to come out. I kept reading everyone saying everyone should pick this. Some studio should pick up this film. Oh yeah, it, it was crazy. Like it, it won the Audience Choice Award at like every film festival I played in. Um, yeah, it's just no one, no one wanted to release it. Actually, no film festival even wanted to pick it up to begin really? with. Oh yeah, it got rejected from every film festival until it played uh, opening night at Toronto. That's where I heard about where it, it. Yeah, where it like got a standing ovation and then won the Audience Choice Award. Right, so it was like this crazy experience where um, uh, Joseph and I, who uh, Joseph just directed the film, he, he, uh, he did I, the Power Rangers. Exactly. So me and him are, are very close friends. We've been collaborators for for years now. Uh, it was one of those things where, where uh, you know, I believed in the film since day one. I think Joseph was a little discouraged for a while because you were like, you kind of like, why is no one, like, what's going on here? Um, and uh, and then it just got all this momentum because it kept winning award after award after award. Every critic that saw it was like, dude, this is the best movie of the year. Some were like, this deserves best picture. Like, It was, it was all over Twitter, everyone saying, pick up body and yeah. I felt that that was that's a testament to you guys by believing in your film because a lot of people don't believe in their film sometimes or the studio will interfere with it but you you kept going with it and I'm, I'm excited for body but also you also worked on dread which I'm a huge fan of of the film dread and uh, I really wanted a sequel to that film and I thought that I was hoping that it would come out because I really love Carl Urban's version of dread and you're also a Rick and Morty fan yes see I, lo I do love Rick and Morty. Do you? Oh, uh, I find the humor kind of funny, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I always thought it was, I, I just think I like the dark humor about it, and him and uh, Morty going back and forth. Rick and Morty. What's your favorite episode? Pickle Rick. I know There's that a lot of people's favorite episode. I'm, I'm not a <laughs> not a massive fan of that episode. My favorite episode is the Atlantis one, where they actually don't go to Atlantis and it's all set on the thing, right? Okay. Because I'm really into satire. I mean, I guess that's kind of like an underlying theme and everything. But yeah. How big of a deal is it to be at Power Morphin Con with the 25th anniversary of the Power Rangers? Dude, my mind's blown that I got invited. That's crazy, right? Yeah, but I like the, the unauthorized film. I thought that was kind of cool, especially that you made... Haim Saban didn't like it. Really? <laughs> Do you get that reaction with a lot of the films, like with The Punisher? Did, did you get a, uh, a weird response from Marvel about that? Or Spawn No, they made a TV show out of it. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Spawn didn't like it. I find that very strange because it's good publicity, and plus it... You love Power Rangers. It's a good thing to be a part of. I don't of think it. that was clear in the beginning that I that I'm like a Power Ranger fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, I think people look at it, look back at a lot of the the, the, the stuff I've done in my life differently now because it's now I guess clear that I'm a huge fanboy and like I'm like basically like a professional cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in, in like the, the, the early years, it was like, who is this child causing problems? I, I loved it. And what's yeah. the best advice you could give to somebody who wants to be a writer, producer, or actor, or director? I am not in a position to give anybody advice because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But uh, just find your voice. Literally find your voice because that's the one thing that actually makes you unique, right? It's, a, it's, the, it's the only thing that like like someone can't take away from you. Everything else they can like steal. They're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna steal your shirt. Or I'm gonna steal your whatever, but they, your voice, they can't steal that. I do love that. So. And where can they find you on social media if they wanna follow you? You should not follow me on social media. Like literally do not follow me on social media. I like, I like don't even use it. Like I'll, like I'll use it like once in a while and then I just like will stop using it. I don't like social media. I was like an early adopter of social media. Okay. I just, but, I, but I wasn't like trying to do social media. I was trying to be like, yo, I have this thing I want to make and they won't put it in theaters because I don't have the rights. I can upload this shit on YouTube. That's what I was doing, right? Now that it's all like corporate, I don't care. And can I make one request if you were to make a, a, another film mm -hmm. in the bootleg universe and Moon Knight, uh, Marvel, a Marvel superhero? Yeah. I feel like that should just be a Netflix show. 
you know. I will agree to that. But thank you again yeah. for the interview. It was a pleasure. Yeah. When you, as you said that, I was like, oh, and Warren should write that bootleg. Like, Warren Ellis. Oh, Warren Ellis is really good. Yes. He should write, but but that yeah. I'm not doing a bootleg. Uh, <laughs> Moon Knight, Marvel. <laughs> Yeah. Did you read that Warren Ellis run? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I'm glad that someone else read that run. I was I, every time I bring it up, nobody knows. But thank you for the interview. Dude, thank you, man.